Hi, I'm Sunita Stanislaw. Welcome to my home in Shetland and a celebration of my summer 2022. This concert will be a bit of a departure from my regular online concerts because it's a collection of the highlights. I worked with a children's program that I organized. I also performed with some of the folk on my Scottish harp tours. And of course, I'm sharing with you some of my favorite harp music. Let's start with my view in front of the house we're restoring, Hammers in Haraldswick, on the Isle of Unce, the most northerly isle. In the far off distance, you can see Viking boat and long house. We'll get a closer view of that later. It's a cloudy, slightly blustery day today, and you can't see the, often there's colors that are aqua and darker blue, different colors in the sea. There's an old pier that will be restored someday, but if you look closer, sometimes you'll see seals or otters. Occasionally an orca will come into the bay. In the distance, that's one of the hammers. Hammers is a long, rocky outcropping by the sea. Hiked there with my husband the other day. We're coming up on our house that we are restoring. We put a new roof on and almost all the exterior stonework is finished and we're starting to work in on the interior. Here's the Viking longhouse and this is the other side of Haraldswick Bay. Bay. This is a view looking across typical hills that you can go rambling across and stumble across an old Viking um, archaeological dig perhaps. There's a great pride in the Viking heritage here in Shetland. There is Haraldswick and Haraldswick Bay looking from the opposite direction towards Hammers. It's usually green and fresh fresh air, wildflowers are abundant. Let's take a closer look and go inside into the Viking Longhouse where I'll share some music with you. Hi, welcome to the Longhouse here in Haraldswick on the island of Unce, the most northerly island in Shetland. I feel like this summer, even though it's been cold and rainy, that there's been also a lot of mist as if we're going back in time. And so here we are back in a replica of a place where they wouldn't really have had a harp. Um, but I'll start with a piece that is Irish, but of this mystery of what can you see in the fog? Is it a dream? Is she alive? Is she dead? Is she my wife? Will we get together again? Or is it just an illusion? She moves through the fair.
In the winter, they have the aurora, the northern lights, which they call the Merry Dancers. And I was asked last year to be part of this project of setting up sound stations and places where you can sit with a beautiful view. But they thought the harp would be great for the aurora, the Miri dancers. And it's in a place now with a beautiful view on the top of a hill. And it gets so windy. They said, you have to have it really strong and bass and dark so that you can hear the light too, or the wind will cover it all up. But I imagine actually not the shrouds, they call them like the trolls, bringing the northern lights, but as if it comes by magic. And, and so if I didn't have to take the wind into consideration, I would have started out much more, a little bit more sparkly. Here's a quieter version of the Miri Dancers, the Merry Dancers. Right behind the Viking longhouse is a replica of a Viking sailing ship called Skid Bladner. It was originally built to set sail, the replica, from Norway to Canada. It made it as far as Shetland, and we're happy that it's at Haraldswick Bay. Now, we had this idea to do a concert of boat songs inside the boat. Um, we've made it as far as doing one piece, it actually gets cold and windy in Shetland and we're next to the road, we, but this is the plan to do a whole concert on the boat.
welcome to another slice of my life inside my home where it's warm and dry. People often wonder, what am I doing here in Shetland? Oh, that's a good question. I'm from Minnesota. Our football team is called the Vikings. Um, there's the whole connection with Norwegian and Swedish and German immigrants who came to settle in Minnesota. So there's always been this Nordic influence and I married a nice Jewish boy from Edinburgh, Scotland. We spent just over 20 years in Israel where we raised our kids. And in a sense now it's full circle, getting away from the city, the rat race, we're up in the country, back in Scotland for my husband. It's uh, been a long time since he's lived here. We fell in love with Shetland when we cycled up here on our tandem seven years ago already. When we raised our kids in Israel, we wanted this Scottish connection and we always celebrated Burns Supper. Robert Burns is the great poet of Scotland. And I'll play for you a tune that's it's a lovely song that I learned from Scottish harp duo Sheilas, um, Patsy said in Mary McMaster. John Anderson, my Joe. And Anderson is a name you hear up here in Shetland. And I'll go into the Scottish reel, Glen Livet. Now, Edinburgh is where my husband grew up and where I start out my Scottish harp tours. Um, Fred, my husband, has a tour company and rather than me going off to harp festivals and he does his other things across Israel and beyond, we thought, let's team up together. 
and I know so many wonderful harp players in Scotland. So we start a tour every summer in Edinburgh, and we go all the way up through the Highlands, Caithness, Orkney, Shetland, and back to Edinburgh. And this year, Carol Kappas, who's a lovely professional harpist in the States, who plays a lot of Scottish music and arranges music, composed one evening in Edinburgh this piece for me. It's called Edinburgh Evening. And I'd like to play it for you, share a little slice of my life, which now is connected to Edinburgh and Shetland. Edinburgh Evening by Carol Kappas. I love sharing the beauty of Scotland with harp players and lead boutique tours across Scotland. This summer, I had two tours back to back because of the delays with COVID. At the end of each tour, we produce a concert featuring local musicians. This summer, I could feature some of the musicians that were on the tour or in Shetland with me. The first is a clip of the concert in Hillswick with the ukulele and washboard uh, master, Paul Moore. I learned this Shetland tune, Sleep Soon in the Morning, from Kim Robertson, my friend and colleague, before I even set foot in Shetland. And I love the way she arranges the rhythm and it works perfectly with washboard. So here's just a snippet of Sleep Soon in the Morning Reel with washboard. And then we'll go to the second concert that features Paul on ukulele and then Harold Jacobs on harmonica and also Terry Myers on boron and Angela Fraser on fiddle. Here's a celebration snippet of these concerts.
cooking? What you got cooking? How about cooking stuff up for me? Yeehaw!
hell is a shame. I'm hell is a shame. I'm hell is a shame that beat your brain. Yes, indeed. It. Again, I will explain. I'm hell is a shame. Kiss me and say you'll understand. I could say hell is a shame. Even when the lie that I goes to show how brand new we are. Again, I will explain. I'm hell is a shame. of my highlights of the summer of 2022 in Shetland. Special thanks to the musicians I performed with. We'll end with performance of the ukulele project, Island Ukuleles. Fred, my husband and I brought up Paul Moore from the Galilee to teach local kids the ukulele. This is a snippet from our final concert at a local festival on Unst. Let's end with the kids and thank you for your support. The great thing about a lot of American folk music, you don't need me to tell you, is that roots are in Scotland and Ireland and all your melodies that you took over when you immigrated were put into the great mix of music that you have in America today. And this is one of the oldest country songs you know. And if I had a dollar for every time I play this, I could be able to buy the Laird's house, I kid you not. Okay, two, three, are we ready? Oh. I come from the
la 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 more dances la 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 come on get up there la 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 Time with the gazoos. With the gazoos, everybody. One, two, three, four.